Hi, this is Monarchy Agar, and I'm about to introduce to you the three-third model of Jerome Brunner. The three-third model of Jerome Seymour Brunner, or commonly known as Jerome Brunner. Jerome Brunner is an American psychologist who made a significant contributions to the human cognitive psychology and to the cognitive learning theory. Fact. Jerome Brunner was born blind and he underwent on a surgery at the age of 2. Jerome Brunner proposes that learners construct their knowledge by organizing and categorizing the information using a coding system. The concept of discovery learning implies that learners construct their own knowledge for themselves. In his research about the cognitive development of children, he proposed the three modes of representation or the three-tiered model, which is the enactive, iconic, and symbolic. For the first stage, the enactive. In this stage, it involves the encoding and storage of information. There is a direct manipulation of the objects without any internal representation. Say, for example, the mother will give a rattle to the baby and the baby will try to shake the rattle and it will create a sound. It is the representation of the objects and events through movement and action which is the characteristics of the child or infants. The child will understand things on how can they be manipulated, used, and acted upon. And for the next stage is the iconic. Information in this age is visually stored in the form of images. When learning a subject, it is more easier to develop the strength in the subject when diagrams and illustrations are coupled with verbal information. Say for example, the teacher will try to introduce the addition to the children. Now to teach the children, the teacher will try to explain on how to solve the problem by explaining and at the same time showing some pictures. Rather than using numbers as an example, the teacher will try to use pictures as a substitute because in Iconic, children tend to learn when he or she can see words and pictures at the same time. And for the last stage is the symbolic representation. In this stage, information is stored in the form of codes or symbols and combined to describe experiences. Developing a capacity to think in abstract terms forms the iconic representation of learning. In this stage, compared to iconic, the children doesn't need any pictures, but they can understand and solve the problem on their own just by looking at the signs and symbols. The theory of Edward Dale, which is the cone of learning experience, can actually relate or it has a relationship to the theory of Jerome Brunner, which is the three-tiered model. For the direct purposeful, contrived, and dramatized of the cone of learning experience, we can put it in the inactive of the three-third model because it is more on direct experiences like dramatization, role-playing, or even experimentation. For the demonstrations, study trips, or exhibits of cone of learning experience, we can put it in the iconic of three-third model because it is more on pictorial experiences like field trips or gallery exhibits. And for the visual symbols and verbal symbols of cone of learning experience, we can put it in the symbolic representation of three-third model because it is more on highly abstract, like charts and diagrams. And that's the three-third model of Jerome Brunner and its connection to the theory of Edward Dale, which is the cone of learning experience.